Developers look for two things. They look for speed and agility. They want to get access to resources quickly, use them while they need them, and throw them away when they're done, and only pay for them while they're using them. Um, but they also want the agility uh, they get from having a broad set of development tools and application components so that they can focus on coding and not doing infrastructure configuration. Infrastructure and operations professionals want from the cloud control and efficiency. They want to use the cloud to make more efficient use of infrastructure they have by offering new options outside the corporate data center. But they want to do that in a controlled manner so that they can still maintain uh, security, compliance, and control that they've had in the data center. True public cloud is a shared infrastructure with multiple tenants where you don't own the infrastructure and uh, security and multi-tenancy and those controls are all implemented in software. So part of the challenge that in traditional IT organizations have with cloud is uh, they don't control the infrastructure at the provider. You have to trust um, uh, the service level and the security uh, agreements that you have. A lot of moving to a hybrid cloud is building trust throughout the organization. Trust from the development teams that you're going to let them have access to these exciting new public cloud tools at their disposal. Um, and trust on your side that once we've built something in the public cloud, um, we can secure it and control it and apply corporate governance to it. It's a great way for infrastructure and operations teams to reach out to developers and say, I can help you build secure apps in the cloud. I can help you decide which tools to use um, to meet our corporate standards and which infrastructure to deploy on once the application is built. So the cloud is driving a lot of new conversations between developers and operations teams um, to, to make that process easier. The real benefit of the hybrid cloud for infrastructure and operations professionals is that they can extend the reach of the data center resources they have by including more transient public cloud resources easily and on demand. So when the business wants to roll out a new application or reach a new set of target customers, you don't have to um, wait for weeks or months to provision new infrastructure on site to support that. Um, you can extend and burst out and use public cloud resources. You can take advantage of elastic public cloud resources for the applications that make sense. Rather than spending their time deploying, configuring, and setting up new infrastructure components, infrastructure and operations professionals can focus on adding value finding the right resources and getting them delivered faster to the business units that need them.